it's the archivist, y'all, exclusively interviewing Rima Major. Rima Major, what up, what up, what up? And who is Canada's female powerhouse, the illest kid, Rima Major? That's me. <laughs> what up? And a multi-talented artist, let us know how you came into stardom, being at the youngest of seven and introduced to hip hop at the age of five. Introduced to hip hop at the age of five, yes, definitely. The first thing I would say that attracted me to rap and the whole art of it was the cypher. Um, I used to get babysat from my older cousin and she used to be outside. They used to bring the boombox literally and play instrumentals and just rap. So my early stages of finding out what hip hop was, I probably heard more instrumentals than I even did records. So the whole cypher, the being in the circle, the battle aspect of it, the storyline aspect of it to the, uh, putting it in your tone aspect, I just fell in love with it. As soon as I learned to write, writing was an outlet, so it was natural. And in terms of coming into the actual industry, you know, I feel God puts certain people in your life for a reason and everything's just sort of fell into place. Through a mutual friend, I met who's my manager now, Quadro Cinco. He's one of the pioneers in the establishment of Canadian hip hop. They were like the first to do a lot of things in Canada. And they're the reasons why people like Drake are where they are today and artists like myself. So salute to them. And uh, he just took me under his wing and sort of made it happen. We was in the studio, started like doing records, joins, put out a couple mixtapes. Did a major showcase, Honey Jam, labels started coming in, and Interscope, Universal G7 a year later, so that's how all that happened. And being in the new school era with swag and a heavy grind behind that, you know the recognition and fundamentals of hip hop. Share what you grew up on and what inspired you. My music is, I like to tell people, like, if you want to get to know who I am, if you want to get to know your major, just listen to my music. My music is my story. I grew up. Because I moved around a lot at such a young age, I don't have a specific memory of any solid place or thing. My early childhood memories more consist of series of events, so things that have happened. I was born in Sudan and uh, a year later I had to move to Kenya. I stayed in Sudan for a year and a little bit, then Kenya for a year and a little bit, then Uganda for a year and a little bit, and finally immigrated with my family to uh, Windsor, Ontario, stayed there for a year and a little bit, moved to Toronto. So basically up until the time I was like six, I moved every single year. I'd say just adapting to different environments and then also growing up in the hood, you know, doing the rowdy shit that kids do. I'm not saying that I promote it, but my music is my story and you know I'm going to talk about it because it's real life. So my music is me and August 23rd, Rima Day. Rima Day, you know, I'm just going to be performing. I'm still a kid. Sometimes people forget that. They're like, yo, she's so spoken. So Rima Day is just the day to have fun. It's at Wonderland, of course. We're going to be running around acting a fool. So me and all the homies, all my ale kids going to get on ride, shut it down. I'll be performing after alongside Universal Artists, some of my dope homies. Red Wave, uh, T-Lanes, Carl Wolf. So it's going to be a day of fun. So you want to have fun, come out. If you can't eat and you can't kick it, stay home. And the fundamentals in hip-hop, anything inspire you when you started? Anything inspired me, yeah, from definitely. From the golden era. From the golden era, definitely. Like the earlier on, it's like Biggie. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Biggie's one of the greatest MCs of all time. Lauren Hills, also inspired by Erica Badu, the Jill Scotts, and all of that. So anything that's authentic, like even storytellers, you know what I'm saying? Just random niggas on the block that used to be outside telling stories in the form of rap. So all that good stuff that happens. And discovery of Stephen Hill, BET's programmer, signed to G7 Records and involved in the BET Hip Hop Awards, Cypher, share about these moments and then getting inked with Interscope and Universal. You know, I guess that I think that just falls into place again with when I say God just does things in mysterious ways. I think about a couple weeks prior to me actually doing the cypher, I went down to a local like radio station, college radio, they're called the Royalty Radio, and I did a cypher, like I just rapped, you know, because I was so into the mix of doing records and uh, instrumentals and all that good stuff. So I'm like, yo, I want to do something different. And I guess that footage got put on a major blog, Black TV. President of BT was supposed to be on MySpace, he was on MySpace, and he just ran into me, then he ran into that footage, and he chose me to be a part of the cypher. So shout out to Stephen Hill, thank him for the opportunity, it was mad dope. So that's how that came about, it was kind of random, but it happened. And then after that, of course, that exposure that exposed me to a lot of other things. So everything just started falling into place after that, like dominoes. And singles, Gucci Bag, Arabic Princess, Ghetto Kids, Father, and I'm One. Yeah. Tell us more and what is next. Uh, what's next? More greatness, more greatness. He just showed love. Like, you know, I met him, we sat down, and he just embraced me. He's like, yo, let me get in the video. So it was sort of just like a show love type of thing, like co-starring. 
as you all know, if you're a major fan, you know I dropped I Am Legend, so that's my latest project. And what I'm currently working on right now is another mixtape, which I'll be dropping before anything else. I'm also working on EPK, that'll be coming out, and you know, it'll be a hot, hot single. So just look out for it. Next year is gonna be a really big year. Very incredible. And opening for Big Boy, Mac Miller, and CBC's Hip Hop Summit, along with the lines of all the legends in Canada, share about these power moves. Yeah, you know, those are all great opportunities, and it definitely did. It was also learning experiences. It's kind of cool, like, you know, because it's no longer like a hairbrush. Now it's an actual mic, and it's no longer like my family as an audience. It's a real, it's a real audience. So the fact that I, it's not jumping around in my room in front of the mirror anymore, and it's like on a stage, it's dope. So all the experiences were dope. It was great, like interacting with the crowd and all that good stuff. I love the stage, so. Anyone else you open for? You can let um, no, I think you did your homework. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to you. <laughs> and three mixtapes. Youngest in Charge, 15 going on 25, and I Am Legend. Seriously, I am legend. speechless. And Thank next you. level, what can we expect and onto the new album and production? With me, I think you can always expect elevation. I wake up every day wanting to be better than the day I was before, you know what I mean? I feel, once you feel you're like the greatest and you know everything, then, you know, I always want to be able to grow and all that good stuff. But just expect greatness, expect music, real music. Hip hop is back, it never died, it was always alive. So, you know, just continuing that legendary thing for the hip hop. I want to be one of the greatest MCs that ever went down, period. And hopefully we can get over the stage of calling it like a male dominated industry and saying like the best female rapper. Hopefully one day they get to say, that's rapping. And you're really popping right now. An interview with ET Canada Thank and Vibe Vixen. What else is going down? Ah, uh, that's what's been going down. Uh, follow me on Twitter and you get to know everything. <laughs> so yeah, so definitely remajor.com, Twitter, backslash remajor, and all that good stuff. And then everything that I do will get put out eventually. And the biggest crowd you've ever rocked? Biggest crowd I've ever rocked. All the crowds of Youth Day was dope. Mac Miller's was dope. Every show I did was pretty dope. Yeah. Always. I don't know which one's bigger, but they're all pretty dope. And one of the best hip hop memories you've been part of or contributed to? Definitely, I have to say the 25 year anniversary of hip hop that went down in Canada, and I shared the stage with all the pioneers of establishment in Canadian hip hop. So that right there, and I was the only new school artist on the bill, so that was definitely a big moment in my career. Like, just even to be, you know, the honor was mine to be on the stage with them. You know, I was also on the stage with Missy Me, and she was the first Canadian female rapper ever, so she embraced me and showed me love. So definitely that day. Yeah. And, like to share a verse with us? Okay, perfect. A little something or freestyle, whatever you want to do. Freestyle. Hmm, what should I do? I want to do something off the tape. Fun is the opposite of back, white is the opposite of black And I be killing every track, cause I'm the opposite of whack In fact, I lack nothing less than the fake shit They creating humorous rumors trying to create shit Saying false facts that really ain't me Why these critics always trying to tarnish my identity In this life, a lawyer is a liar The new generations is inspired by the eras they came prior For example, piercings on the face came from the messiahs in the motherland Understand, nothing's new under the sun Nowadays, everybody got a gun, but not every gun got a body Yes, we're identified by name that don't mean use of somebody in the media can turn a goody girl into a naughty one this life is a bitch in itself my concern is my family's health and they wealth come on be a major i am legend in this life track number go find out and anything to say to america say to america i am the illest kid keep god first family second acquaintance third no force no friends no time to pretend you got anything else to add i'm the illest kid and you got any shots g7 cherry tree in the scope universal and shouts out to G7, and this is the Archivist, and you already know the name, y'all.